the summertime, the Branch Line Station Masters enjoy a friendly competition for the most beautiful Central Century of John Thoring Industries. The engines love to help too. Why the fuck that Stepney has stolen Scarlowe's whistle? One evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. I want Percy to collect some flower bushes for Lower Tidmouth Station, he said. They're at Maithwaite. Maithwaite, Percy said? I have a question, Sir Topham. Why can Wellington Station appear to be at six? No, 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 the fat controller said. I'm tired of you. Who cares, the driver said, and they fucked away. Up. Percy chuffed anxiously through the thickening fog. He doesn't like traveling to Maithwaite at night. The line passes through a junction next to a spooky old quarry mine. Ooh, spooky! Percy hoped the signal at the junction would be green. He didn't want to stop next to the mine, but the signal was red. Stop the train! Stop the Suddenly, he saw something. Now, full speed ahead of The next day. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting for Percy at Dry Aw Station. I want you to collect some freight cars from the abandoned mine, he said. Y -y yes, sir, Percy answered. But he really didn't want to go there again. Meanwhile building at the old mine sank into the ground. Percy's driver told Sir Topham Hatt what they had seen. It's the naughty gnomes, cried Percy. They like to cause trouble. It's legend. Nonsense, said Sir Topham Hatt. The old buildings are collapsing into empty mine shafts, that's all. Meanwhile... Percy was scared, but he knew he had to be responsible, so he carried on. <laughs> Later that week, the station master thanked Percy. We wouldn't have won our competition without your garden gnomes, Percy. Percy was very proud. You were right, sir. Naughty gnomes can be lucky after all.